thank you. Especially thank you, special thanks to the organizers of this very important uh, seminar. And special thanks to Right Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda. His speech is very insightful and inspiring. And also special thanks to the doctors, professors, journalists, and academias presented today. You know, on this occasion of the 10th anniversary of the Belt Road Initiative, now the initiative has embarked on a new journey with achievements and dreams which belong not only to China, but also to the whole world. Here I wish to share what we got from BRI and how could we further cooperate under the BRI framework. As we all know that in his important speech in Kazakhstan on September 7th, 2013, President Xi Jinping proposed building a new Silk Road economic belt by promoting policy coordination, road connectivity, unimpeded trade, and currency connectivity, and strengthened people-to-people -people ties. Over the past decades, we witnessed a vivid picture of the BRI's transformation from the original transit corridor connecting Eurasia into a truly global development vision spanning 154 countries across Asia, the Middle East, Africa, Europe, and the South Pacific. Also, over the past decade, China has set, signed documents on Belt Road initiatives with 152 countries and 32 international organizations. And the trade in goods between China and countries along the Belt and Road increased from 1 trillion US dollars to 2 trillion US dollars, with an average annual growth rate of 8%. And the two-way investment between China and the countries along the Belt and Road exceeded 270 billion US dollars. And Chinese enterprises have created 421,000 local jobs in overseas economic and trade cooperation zones in countries along the Belt and Road. So that is a very concrete results of the one decade of Belt Road Initiative. And also, over the past decade, China and countries along the Belt Road has diversified financing systems and multi-tiered capital markets. As of September 2023, the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank has expanded to 109 members and approved 236 projects in 36 member countries worth more than 45 billion. By the end of July 2022, China has made bilateral currency swap agreements with more than 20 countries. And more importantly, BRI helped countries to shape local development system as a game changer. Taking the South Asian as an example, the China-Maldives Friendship Bridge not only facilitates transportation between Mali Islands and the Maldives International Airport, but also provides new travel options for locals between islands. Taking another example of China-Pakistan economic corridor, more than 10 power projects 
under this corridor has been successfully put into operation, which has completely changing the power shortage situations in Pakistan and injecting impetus into local economic developments. And ladies and gentlemen, since China and Nepal inked a memorandum of understanding on Belt and Road Initiative in 2017, a series of fruitful results has been achieved. There was more policy alignment, improved exchange mechanisms for trade and economic issues, and streamlined connectivity programs that formed up a web of multidimensional connectivity network in such areas as ports, land ports, roads, railways, airways, and telecommunications. Trade at border ports has been recovered to pre-pandemic level. The Chinese side support Nepali side to participate in major platforms such as the China International Import Expo, China South Asian Expo, and Xizhou Tourism and Culture Expo to facilitate the export to China. WeChat payments functioning in Nepal this year further facilitated Chinese tourists and cross-border trade. Over the past few weeks, Right Honorable Prime Minister Pratanda paid a successful official visit to China. This is the highest level visit since the President Xi Jinping's historic state visit to Nepal in 2019. The BRI was a highlight of the trip. A joint statement issued during the visit expressed, I quote, commitment to accelerate the consultations to finalize the text on the BRI implementation plan at an early date, unquote. And China and Nepal will continuously promote high quality belt and road cooperation following the important consensus reached by the leaders of the two countries. Together, under the BRI framework, China and Nepal could jointly advance hard connectivities and soft connectivities and people-to-people -people connectivities. China is ready to work with Nepal to continuously improve connectivity at ports, roads, railways, aviation, telecommunication, and electricity. Accelerate the construction of the Trans-Himalaya multi-dimensional connectivity network and help Nepal, a landlocked country, upgrade connectivity with neighboring countries as soon as possible to become a land-linked country. China is also willing to import more quality agricultural products from Nepal, encouraging Chinese enterprises to participate in the development of Nepal and investing in Nepal. We also would like to strengthen people-to-people -people exchanges and corporations in education, Medicare, tourism, among others. China is willing to support Nepal to push forward agricultural modernization, energy autonomy, industrial upgrading, and transformation to help Nepal ease its international balance of payments, accelerate economic developments, improve people's livelihood, and better safeguard its independence. During this process, China and Nepal cooperation in all fields will follow the market rules and international customs. China respects the will of Nepal and will not attach any political strings to the agreements and will not seek any political self-interest. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nepal-China Friendship Forum is an important platform for China-Nepal BRI cooperation. I look forward to your insights on high quality belt and road cooperation and uh, hope you to communicate the true stories of belt and road cooperation to the Nepalese people and bring more wisdom and resources to belt and road cooperation between our two great countries. I thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you.